What's up YouTube, it's Ulti with Techaholics, back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set a custom ringtone on your Android Wear device. So let's get it in. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to show y'all that this is Android Wear. And I'll show y'all what version that it's running. It's running the newest, latest version, which I know people's been having an issue with the Wear device with it um you know it's on 2.142.14 and I know that people have been having an issue with actually getting the um custom ringtones to work on this uh device so I'll go ahead and I'll show y'all how to do that and uh first things first of course you're going to need an android wear device and another thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go onto your phone. All right. So from the device, what you want to do automatically from here is you want to just go into the settings, go into sounds, go into watch ringtone, and set it to none. All right. So whenever you do that, you go ahead and set this off to the side or set your device off to the side. And then we'll bring in the phone. All right. Let me unlock it. And what you're going to want to do is that you want to go to the Play Store. And you're going to want to look up an app called Wear or Feel the Wear. Feel the Wear right here. And obviously, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. So, whenever you open it up, it's going to look like this. Whenever you have this installed on your phone, let me close that real quick. You want to go ahead and you want to come all over to your watch. And you want to go to where it says the Play Store. Alright, there we go. So you want to go ahead and go to apps on your phone. And you want to scroll down till you see Feel the Wear. I already have it installed, so it might not be on here. Um, but you want to go ahead. You see right here where it says My Apps. But as soon as you go in there, you'll see it. It should say Feel the Wear. Recently updated. Right there. Feel the Wear. Installed. That's the one that you want. So if I go ahead. I'll go ahead and uninstall this really quick just to show y'all where you can find it. Go to apps on my phone. And right, right here. So once whenever you have that installed, you want to go ahead and go back to your phone and you want to go ahead and go back into the application. So you want this application and another application. You want to be able to make the ringtones obviously and you can make it, I, I believe that for the notifications it's only five seconds but for like a ringtone it could be a little bit more. I have seen it to where I could be able to have like 10 to 13 seconds of a clip or an audio clip, whatever you want to say. So um, on your device, you want to go into settings and look for this thing, right? Because if you do not do this, it will have some issues. And I'm pretty sure that y'all have been experiencing the same issue like I did. 
So you want to go into uh, the settings and look up this. It's called Trust Agents. I'm going to go ahead and go right there to where it says Trust Agent or a Agent. You want to go right here to Advanced Trust Agent all the way down to the bottom. And you see where it says Smart Lock Google. You want to turn that off. It's not already turned off. Just so y'all know. And you should be able to get calls back onto your device. You should be able to get everything that you need to run in. So whenever you do that, um, obviously you want to have the ringtone maker. You want to make a clip of the ringtone. I went ahead and did this one, but I'm just going to show y'all before I make it. You know, I'm pretty sure y'all know how to make a ringtone. It's not that hard. So you just find whatever clip that you want to use of the song, and then you just make it. So with that being said, you want to go back into the Wear, Feel Wear application. You want to make sure that you use this column right here for the phone calls. And right here, you add the new song. So in here, you'll get a little button right there. Just go to Add. You find your audio clip find mine real quick I use ES File Explorer for everything so mine just so happens to be in the ringtones whenever I ended up making the ringtone so it's easier to find so since that I don't have this one I'm not going to play it for copyright reasons I'm just going to upload it it'll say upload successfully Whoop! I didn't mean to do that oh it went away All right. so with the upload successfully it'll tell you that it uploaded successfully but then again whenever you go to to scroll down it might take a second for it to actually load up that won't automatically pop up and then you'll see audio file has failed but don't let that bother you because it's right there but it deleted all mine it shouldn't have but um, you've seen all the ones that I had so I'm just going to go back and then go to add really quick so I can be able to show y'all that this works. Do this one. I'm not too sure of how many of these that you can have up here. Um, but as far as I have had, I guess that I've had like four or five of them. And it's perfectly fine. Like I said, it's going to take a second for it to load up. It's going to say that it failed, but it obviously didn't. So, see, I added it right there. And all that you want to do is that you want to go right here. And then you can be able to set the vibration so you know what is what. So, if you wanted to have like a call, have only like one long vibration okay well that's a call but obviously you're going to see it coming in so you don't even have to have the vibrations you can set a custom vibration and then the sound you just want to go down to where you see where your audio clip is so whenever you click it you can go ahead and you can test it from here see if it works all right so it's working fine and same exact thing for this one. It's not going to do anything because obviously I accidentally deleted that. But we'll just go into here and we'll go back down here to this one. Okay, yeah, that's really loud. So um, as you can tell, everything's working. So now let me go ahead and let me call my phone so y'all can see that it is working So as you can tell, and in the beginning of the video, I actually did all the ringtones so y'all could be able to hear it and y'all could be able to see that it actually worked. I did the text tone so y'all could be able to see. I'll go ahead and I'll send a message again really quick just so y'all could be able to see that it is working. 
for the text tone as well. And this works for any application, so there it goes. So um, you can set this for any type of notification. You can set it for Snapchat, maybe you have a messenger. Uh, you want to set a custom, you know, text tone or something for that. And you can do that for any application in this setting. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me show you. And you can see all the applications that you can use. So it's not limited to just the messaging app. You can do it with any app. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or any comments, go ahead and leave it in the comment selection. As always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.